Howdy folks, how are y'all doing? I'm starting to uh, unload the stuff from uh, last video. Then we're gonna load up and go to the scrapyard. But I wanted to show y'all this boat motor that I got for free. My neighbor brought it over. I don't know, I pulled on it and it's not seized up. So, you know, I'd, uh, I might set it to the side and figure and find somebody that knows what they're doing or something on that make more than scrap it would be aluminum breakage though but uh people saying i say that too much huh? <laughs> let's uh unload this and then load it back up with shred and uh see how much money we can get today i'll see y'all scrapyard that's what we're doing today we're gonna scrapper goes to scrapyard all right wait here Oh, it's supposed to be a hundred degrees a day. It's an old guinea pig cage for my house. Their outside play deal. I'm about out of the guinea pig raising life. Actually, I am. My last old female that we got given to us passed away, so. That's the end of that. Just got the boys. <laughs> All right. There's a little piece of aluminum in there if you wanted to clean it on those. Y'all probably know that. This one will not pay very much, but we'll empty the truck. I wanted to stick a magnet to that. No sticky, that's stainless. That stays. two of them up there there they are can't lose my stainless hey now Everything is a jumbled mess. It's just. Oh, yeah. Okay. Have to make sure and get all these off. Do y'all like scrapyard trips? Be honest. The views don't get as much, but I know some people like them. So if y'all like them, I'll show them. I don't know if y'all like the whole unload or you just skip right to it to get to the money or some people like the the whole whoopity do of it. There goes Elvis. We scrapped him. Oh, that has a 
cord on it. Oh, that's just the cord itself. All right. These dudes are kind of heavy. Or at least they felt heavy the other day. It ain't that heavy. More in here than we thought, didn't we? That stays. Clippers. I think I have a set in here. I hope. Yeah, I got an old set. That'll work. <laughs> I'm about to I'll just throw these dang things out I won't even cut a cord put a set of my good ones back in here thought I had a set in there one vacuum going that's a motor don't let that go it's a ring light thing Fifteen, twenty bucks, maybe fifteen. Hey, we got four hundred and twenty pounds for twenty-one dollars. I didn't think we'd get twenty, twenty-one dollars, but uh, let's go. Let's go get some more. We we'll get a hurry. Back. man how about you it's closer brand new shelves Oh, the 
is gonna be fun. Let me get that washer out of there. I picked that up in the Jeep. <laughs> I was driving around, I seen a washer, I was like, not leaving it. Dude is heavy, man. Let me tell you. Or it seemed heavy, fighting it and getting it cheap. I didn't have my back rack on it or nothing. There we go. I want better than I thought. Have one. Maybe I can unload you most of the time. I know. I've got one, it's just I don't like pulling it, I guess. Huh. Wonder why they got rid of it. I seen, but I wonder why nobody's bought it yet. I wonder. Probably because there's all that junk on it. Nobody wants to unload it. Huh. Somebody will. It's even got an aluminum toolbox on it. Yeah. I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be here somewhere. I'm trying to make some room. Okay. I meant to tell him. Clean this out a little bit. Why ain't nobody here, you know what I mean? trailer would make life easier but here but scrapping for me no I can't even fill up my truck half the time on we go alrighty 580 pounds 29 buckaroos go get another load make some room in that storage unit for their shop yeah, there's a trailer there. It just needs tires on it. <laughs> it's got a cage around it and everything. Wonder why they scrapped it. Look at it, the homemade thing. Probably, I don't know. Anyways, let's go. This one's not gonna be very heavy at all. It's a, it's a lot of bulky, light stuff. But we need to get rid of it anyway. down in a hole or something. Fifteen bucks for this one, but I just unloaded it the way it was in the storage unit. The 
rid of this freaking thing. Well guys, that's gonna be it because, oh boy, y'all laugh at me on this one. Uh, my truck broke down at me at the scrapyard, but not really, it really didn't break down. Okay, I got out to get my money, which we got $18, I showed y'all that, and I went to start it and there was nothing. It was dinging like it's done a million times and I had, thought I had all that fixed, which it was fixed. So I popped the hood, messed with the battery, then uh, I was like, oh, the, the post, the uh, lead part was cracked a little bit. So they helped me jump it and nothing. We couldn't get it going, tried jumping it, tried the jumper box. We even shorted out the, I guess they grabbed it. We even shut down the whole <laughs> scrapyard because when we did, we shorted out a breaker in there or something. We tried to jump box something. The computers had to reboot. So I made the whole thing mess up. But the whole time, it was my idiot fault. The sun was blaring down, and when I got out, you know, I put it up, I put it in the park, and the mechanic came up there, he's like, he tried and tried, hooking his truck to it, and the jumper box, and all that. And he's like, put it in neutral. So I looked, I couldn't see, because the sun was hitting it, and it never did go into park. Well, of course, it's not gonna start unless, unless it's in park or neutral. So that's all it was. It didn't go all the way down into park. I got those new linkages or whatever in there. And every once in a while, it won't go all the way in the park. Cause, so that's what it was. So now I've got to get it <laughs> the end of a battery terminal because I broke it, the, the lead part, the post. So that's an easy fix though. And I uh, can't shut this off. So I'm gonna go home and call it a day. But I appreciate y'all watching. <laughs> they were really nice. I'm glad they helped me out. They went above and beyond. So Cunningham Metals, thank you very much. Shout out to them. Go take your metal there if you live here locally. And uh, tell them I sent you. Uh, great folks. They've always helped me out all the time. So uh, thank you all. Um, not, no big deal. I'm just, you know, when you uh, break down and stretch it. I just didn't think. Now I know what I didn't look. Just, couldn't see but well we got made a little bit of money today got a little, made a little room i was hoping to get another load in but be all right tomorrow i won't get to work uh i gotta take my little boy to the dentist in the morning and then friday they have no school so i'll edit this video and i might go live or make one trip or something in the morning early or something maybe he can go with me he's not feeling too bad make enough to get him a happy meal or something but i love y'all appreciate y'all and uh thank you to all of my members and thank you for everybody that sent me the super thanks i seen i got a couple on my last video thank y'all so much that really helps out and it, it means it means a lot it really does when that when y'all hit that it means that I, i'm i feel like i'm doing a good job for y'all putting out good videos so uh i better put this down and drive safely so y'all guys have a good one I'll see y'all on the next one.